Can you see me in the camera? Can you see me in the camera? Turn me up in the headphones. Loud and clear for the people in the background. Yo, 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 Jumpman T with Twitch Torch TV. I'm back again. Turn me up in your headphones. Loud and clear for the people in the background. Do we have a chance? Is there a chance for DeAndre Hopkins? We finna talk. We finna talk. If you haven't already, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Keep your boy the algorithm. For the future videos as well. We got some stuff to talk about. And my boy Wolf, I saw what you said in your video. We're gonna get to that later. I got something to talk to you about. Oh, let me let me drink my drink. <laughs> Y'all the energy earlier. Alright, so DeAndre Hopkins. ESPN stated that uh the Falcons potentially have a chance to get DeAndre Hopkins. Um, one of the nine teams. <laughs> it's a big list. I must say, nine teams. Uh, once he, once the Cardinals let him go, I knew we had a chance potentially to potentially sign DeAndre Hopkins. Let's be realistic, guys. We got the money. We have a potential easy division to win. Um, the NFC, you never know. It's, it's like a Cinderella. I mean, if it ain't the 49ers, if it ain't the Eagles, it's a Cinderella. So I feel like a lot of teams have a chance in the NFC. And let's be honest, guys, where is he from? South Carolina, <laughs> 115 miles away from the A, might I add. So the family, they can ride on in the whip, go ahead and get them around. They can come on out there to the game. You know what I'm talking about? Come show love and support for the Falcons because we there. We ready to just turn up. Let's get into his stats. Uh, as you may know, the past two years, he hasn't been able to play um, too much. Injuries two years ago and then last year, the PEDs. But still, in 22, 64 receptions, 700 yards. That's after missing six games, guys. That's it. Hey, and, and I know y'all see the new apparel. <laughs> y'all see the new merch <laughs> on the wall, might I add. Five is going to turn up on that defense. So I want to just, just put that out. Drop that down in case y'all ain't see that. But, yeah, 700 yards and missing six games. That's great, guys. Um, Three touchdowns. One thing I like about DeAndre Hopkins, we need a mentor. I'm, I was cool with Muhammad Sanu, but DeAndre Hopkins? DeAndre Hopkins? We already think Atlanta Falcons offense can be scared with these three backs. So imagine adding D Hop to go with Pitts and Drake London. I had to put the shades on because I'm, I'm I'm feeling myself. <laughs> I'm just saying it's been a couple years, so now Twist can talk his talk. So let's get back to it. Um, only three touchdowns, 2021, uh, 42 receptions, almost 600 yards, eight touchdowns, and 2020, the last uh, season he started full. 115 receptions, uh, 1,400 yards, averaging 12 yards a catch, six touchdowns. One thing about D-Hop, he can play the slot, he can play outside. Um, he knows how to beat double coverage. He knows how to run routes. Chris routes, might I add. D-Hop, you can help us. I'm just saying. And, hell, you can be number one, number two, number three, I don't know, whatever the fuck you want to be when you come here. You can make your own demands. I don't. I ain't no trip. I ain't no trip about it. I promise you. Uh, but let's get into it. I think the Falcons have a chance because if we look at the, we look at the destinations, the bills, no bread. Where's your dividends? No cheddar. You can't spend, you ain't got no cheddar. 1.6 mil. There is a potential where you can make it into a signing bonus, but hey, don't see it. Uh, the Chiefs. Man, y'all some broke boys. <laughs> they some broke boys. Uh, one mil. Uh, as again, they can do a signing bonus as well. I don't see him going there. Uh, the Jets. Too many receivers. They do have 18.2 mil. Uh, I can see D Hop getting anywhere between 10 to 15 million uh, with a potential big contract coming in the following year. I'm looking, I'm looking for him to sign a one year deal, prove it deal to get that next check, that big check, the big check he really wants, to be honest. And we gotta, we gotta be honest, guys. D Hop is already getting paid from the Cardinals. <laughs> so he's looking to win and he's looking uh, to get some more paper, I must say. So, hey, the Jets have potential, but I don't see it. They already got Lazard, uh, they already drafted Wilson last year. They have some weapons over there, might I add. So they still have Corey Davis, the jury's out on that. The Cowboys. That's a that's a that's a nail biter. They did just trade for Brandon Cooks. They have 25 million. Um that's a potential sign. I know my boy Stu will be turned up about that. I don't know, Stu. What should they do? What should they do, Stu? Huh? What should they do? 25 mil, should y'all get them? Yo, pair good with CD. I must admit, uh Saints, trash, 14.2. We don't we know we don't want to play with Derek Carr. Dub. You're a dub, Saints. I'm sorry. Respectfully. Browns, too many receivers. 
Uh, 17 mil in the cap, but I don't see him wanting to go back to play with DeAndre. I mean, it's a possibility, but I don't see it. That's a tough division. Uh, the AFC is tough. As I say, if you go to the Browns, you got to play the Chiefs. You got to play the Bills. So you got to play the Jets. I don't see the Browns being a potential. Uh, Giants, too cold. <laughs> he from South Carolina. He want to play in the heat. He, he was at Houston previously. He was at Arizona. Bring him back to the A when he's close to the crib. I just see that. Uh, Falcons, we have 10.7 mil. We have the biggest knee out of the group, might I add, to where he can get a lot of touches. And we have the best, uh, the second to third best offensive coordinator on this list. Um, you got the, you got the Chiefs, of course. We know, we know Andy Reid, respectfully. We know. Um, the Bills, maybe. Um, their their offense can be shaky at times. So hey, top three players, Cowboys, their, their offense uh, uh, coordinator can be shaky at times as well. Um, in the Pats, too boring. No one wants to go play offense over there. Y'all had Jonah Smith and couldn't do nothing with him. Come on, man. No one wants to go to the Pats. So let's be realistic. Uh, the Bills, Chiefs, Jets, Cowboys, and the Falcons. I, I see us as the potential candidates. I think we have, with a dark horse, I think us and the Cowboys potentially because it's in the NFC. Um, the NFC is always going to be open for business. The Cowboys have a chance. I think we have a chance because we have a running game. And, hell, let's be honest. If we get D-Hop, He'll take Drake London's game to the next level. He'll take Kyle Pitts' game to the next level. And let's be real, listen, we really need to go to the next level. Desmond Ritter. This is a potential signing like, if y'all remember. <laughs> let, me, let me put my Matt Ryan shades on for a second. If y'all remember, what took Matt Ryan's game to the next level was who? Huh? It was Tony G. And when the Falcons got Tony G., that took Matt Ryan's game to the next level. You know, of course, then they added Julio. They already had Roddy. But you have Drake. You have Kyle Pitts. What about D-Hop? D-Hop can be a potential Roddy White type player. Um, can make plays continually. Third down, you don't have to worry. Third down, you know who's going to. We can line him up anywhere. And let's be honest, D-Hop. You haven't had an offensive coordinator like Arthur Smith. He don't care. You can talk You can talk trash to him. He'll listen to you. He's going to get you the ball if you want the ball. I promise you that. So come to the A. One thing they're not going to tell you, who got the money to spend next year? You see the list? Uh, the five going to have close to 100 mil next year. So you come in, you get your signing bonus, you get paid. You do your thing. I can see 18 mil a year for a, a, like a three-year deal. I can see that. 